So you're looking to buy or sell in the South Bay? Well, this is Marie Hoffman with Hoffman Murphy Real Estate, your favorite real estate team. I'm gonna be going through almost all the cities, Manhattan, Hermosa, Redondo Beach, all of the zip codes, yes, all of the zip codes in Torrance, Palos Verdes, two zip codes, and San Pedro. So get ready, let's get started. So Manhattan Beach is, well, it's, it's probably one of the most expensive areas we've got down here. The median list price of a home there is 3,900,000. Price decrease, that means the, the homes that are currently on the market or have sold, 43% of those have had a price reduction. And this has actually got the largest inventory of all the cities we're gonna look at. It's got 60 properties available. Hermosa Beach, land of the surfers, uh, this is, again, high, high list price, median price, uh, 4,547. Price decreased 23%, smaller inventory, 22 homes available. Redondo Beach, one of our more affordable areas uh, that people love. Average price in 90277, which is South Redondo, and that tends to be a little bit higher cost because that has a whole area that's right down by the ocean with ocean views. 2,900,000, 53 average days on the market. Uh, once again, low inventory, 18, and yet 44% of those homes have had a price reduction. So kind of telling us a story here. Um, Redondo Beach, 90278, that neighborhood, 2 million, average days on the market, 70 days on the market, only 13 homes available. And that price decrease, almost 70% of the homes have had a price decrease. So again, the market tells us the story. Let's go on over to Torrance, 90501, two, three, four, and five. And this is a neighborhood or this is an area where you have a little bit more affordability. 90501, 950,000, only 19 homes available. Median days on the market, 14. So that's very key, right? More affordability, less days on the market, and more people that can buy that home. In 90502, average days on the market, 27. Inventory, five. Only five homes available there. So we are seeing, um, we have zero price decreased there. Again, it's an average of five homes. So, but that tells us the story. 90503. A million four one nine is the average price. Average days on the market, 45 days. Inventory only 10 and the price decreased 30%. So, so far um, you can see that most of the areas have price reductions. Over here, we've got 90504 and that is a million 74, the median list price, median price of new, a million 45. The average days on the market, 29, much less than the more expensive areas. Price decrease, 33% of the, the homes and only 12 homes. So by the way, a note to you sellers, if you are thinking about selling, um, this is personally my favorite time of year to do it because you only have serious sellers and serious buyers out there and you can get a jump on the, you know, let's do it after Super Bowl. I don't know why we do that, but sometimes I hear that. So uh, lastly in Torrance, 90505, uh, median list price is a million five, 46 days on the market, price decrease 46%, inventory still small, only 13 homes. I bet you're getting a clear picture on this, huh? All right, our bonus down in the, down in the South Bay, it's funny, um, this is where actually my parents bought a home. Uh, 1953 in Palos Verdes. Uh, we have two zip codes down there, 90274 and 90275. The median list pr price in 90274 is 3,672,000. And the average days on the market is 112 days on the market. It's interesting, 
We find sometimes Palace Verdes lags a little bit. Um, it's sometimes what people do is they want to look closer to town and then they move down there. So it might not be people's first choice. It's absolutely beautiful. We love it there, but it is farther from the freeways and far, farther from if you you have to work uptown. Price decreases 50% of those homes. 90275, 2 million, two. And uh, median days on the market, 28. Inventory, 53. Um, Palos Verdes is a huge peninsula. Uh, it is definitely a, a big place to, to look. And it's on south, north, east, and west of the whole hill. So San Pedro, uh, wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, has been an affordable place for people to live. It's close to the ocean. It's close to the uh, 110 freeway. And it's got a, a lot of culture, a lot of good food. Uh, median list price, a million seventy-five. Median days on the market, high at seventy-four. Price decreased, thirty-six percent of those homes. So, you know, we've seen uh, the highest part of our market was November, November twenty twenty-one. Uh, for lots and lots of reasons, low interest rates, people at home living in homes that. They may, they may not have liked living with people that they maybe, you know, wanted to not live with anymore. There's all sorts of reasons. But you know what, the, the same thing rings true all the time. If you price your home correctly and you make it look beautiful and you give people accessibility, your home will sell. And if you're thinking about buying, you have got to think about if the average rent in the South Bay is somewhere between 4500 and 10000 a month. Do you really want to be spending that kind of money, $100,000 a year to $60,000 a year, and then ending up with no asset? Because if you're thinking about buying a home and you plan on staying in that home from five to seven years, there's never a bad time to make that purchase. And if you're thinking about moving out of the state, moving, downsizing, um, maybe your home just doesn't fit for you right now. Maybe you have some other reasons that you wanna take that equity. There's never a better time to do that as well. Don't let anybody boss you around. This is all market statistics, but the most important thing about buying or selling real estate is you and what you want to do.